That was uh, last night's home over there. The uh, boot barn, I think it said, Indian Trading Post. We are heading west. Uh, today might be a pretty quiet day. It's already like almost 3 p.m. Basically, I edited like five videos, so I'm about a week behind schedule, which is great, because it also means I have a week buffer. And uh, there's been a bunch of uh, demonetizing issues on YouTube and things like that, so that helps for that, as well as other things. Let's hit the road. We're already on the road. Claire, can you help me scratch my itch? That's not how you say it. Oh, what? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I got a barbecue itch to scratch and we're at the Billy Sims. Survey says? Pretty dang good. You like it? Yeah. All right, time for the second survey. Ah. Oh, we got the extra meat brisket. This one goes to the fourth place. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, so we just left that mediocre barbecue place, by the way. And I happened to see a small horse, well, a baby horse on the side of the road. And I said, oh, look, a pony. And. Not a pony, it's a foal. Ponies are a type of horse, not a baby horse. Right. What, what planet have I been living on if I thought a pony is a baby horse, but in fact it's not a baby horse? I don't know. You're way off. She's gonna ruin my Christmas. <laughs> Texas. So uh, we're parked right there. Last night we were parked behind that other semi truck, which is right next to a Loves, and across the freeway from something we're about to go to. But first, we came down to check out these two pistols here. They're actually barbecue smokers, and uh, here's proof of it right there. Not your average barbecue smoker, but very Texan indeed. Well, right across the freeway is. Slug Bug Ranch, Buggy Ranch, Bug Farm, all different names. Most probably well known as the Slug Bug Ranch. Uh, it was basically built as a old travel plaza, as you can see. Uh, it says Route 66 budget fuel, a uh, little gas station, who knows what this was. But it was intended to draw people away from the other place we're going to later, Cadillac Ranch. And so this was like a parody built in 2002. As you can see, it's a BYO. SP, bring your own spray paint. So we are back at the Cadillac Ranch. This guy's selling souvenirs and spray paint. That's a, a first for me. Uh, since I have been here before, we'll make this uh, a little bit quicker. All right, here we are back at the uh, Cadillac Ranch. I'll give you some quick uh, fun facts. Uh, it is uh, right on Route 66. It was made by a guy, a, a billionaire named Stanley Marsh III, and uh, brought out some hippies from San Francisco, put 10 of these things nose ground into the, into the dirt, and it's been here ever since. up on our uh, list in Amarillo, Texas, <laughs> the third bizarre vehicle, burial, grounds, or whatever you want to call this thing is uh, Combine City. I guess you could call it the Combine Ranch. Um, it is a bit out of town. Um, kind, of, kind of strange. We're just minding our own, our own business heading out of town. We happen to come across this on the Roadside America app, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, here is some combines. <laughs> there really wasn't too much information 
on the app, it just said kind of, you know, where this place was, what it is. Um, this completes the trifecta of bizarre things. Vehicles buried in the ground though. <laughs> what do you think, Claire, worth a stop? Definitely, if you could go in there, it'd be better. Yeah, there is a fence, uh, barbed wire fence uh, surrounding this whole thing, so it looks like, you know, it's kind of off limits. Um, don't spray paint here, people. Go spray paint somewhere else where they kind of allow it, encourage it. But yeah, this is pretty neat, pretty cool. Uh, wish we could get inside though and go uh, get a closer look, but this will do. Well, it's that special time of day where we uh, get to feed ourselves and uh, thankfully, thankfully for Claire's sake, we're gonna have another very nutrient-rich meal. We were just saying how this has been a very healthy week for her. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently it's the most amount of uh, meat she's have, had in such a short amount of time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is my kind of place. This place screams Texas. <laughs> There we go, great state of Texas right there with Lone Stars. That's <laughs> quite a bite, hey, go for it. Yeah. It looks hot. Okay. Yes? Oh, okay. All right, first time trying brisket queso fries. Oh, this place <laughs> rock. Very good. Fried pickles, fried jalapenos. Keeping with the uh, brisket uh, trend, we're gonna try a bite here. Oh yeah, that goes on top too. Mm -hmm. Try it. That's good, huh? Oh yeah. It's really, really good. Yes. Um, I gotta agree, I forget the name of the town we're in. Lubbock? South of Lubbock. But this place is incredible. You should definitely come here if you're passing through Lubbock or if you live here. Um, yeah, great spot. Bush hogs. Mm -hmm.